This is the much belated Summit Station Greenland video part two. <laughs> what have we here? If you've ever wondered what it looks like to launch a weather balloon in Greenland on a windy day, well, it looks like this. <laughs> It is now August, which means it's almost time for me to get out of here, to leave Summit Station, Greenland. And uh, I wanted to talk about a few things. Um, you may have heard on the news that it's been really warm in Greenland this year, and it's true. Um, so we're standing here on almost almost two miles of ice, and it stretches as far as the eye can see in every direction. And it's basically a whole nother ocean of ice that's just waiting to melt into the world's oceans. This year, uh, we were like 36 degrees Fahrenheit for um, the better part of the day. Um, that's not normal here. This place uh, very, very rarely, like once every several thousand years gets above freezing, but it actually happened twice this year. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely, it's definitely something that you should be concerned about. Um, I'm not gonna get into the whole climate skeptic thing debate because if you feel like there's still a debate, um, you might, I don't even know what to say to you. Anyway, so as I said, we're living on almost two miles of ice, two miles thick. And you might be wondering how, how do you make life work when uh, you're, you're living on two mile thick ice? So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you around a little bit of the the station and how we make things work here. Um, right here behind me, we've got the snow melter. So we make our water by dumping snow in there. We melt it, and then we actually have uh, pipes that pipe it around the station to various buildings, not to the one I live in, but to the big house over there. That's what we call it. That's our main part of the station with our kitchen and dining room and offices. And we call that the greenhouse over here. Um, that's another building that's got some plumbing. And there's a couple others that, uh, that have indoor plumbing. And when you have indoor plumbing and you're sitting on ice like this, basically you just, uh, you just make a big hole in the ground. Um, we call it an outfall. And uh, we drill down using um, hot water mostly. We go down about 80 feet and uh, all the plumbing just dumps in there until it's full and then we move it and make a new one. And uh, those of us that are unfortunate, we we stay in buildings that don't have indoor plumbing, don't have bathrooms. So uh, yeah, despite the fact that we're 
at about ten and a half thousand feet up and it's rarely 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 above freezing here um we use outhouses and because nobody likes to get up in the middle of the night and uh pee in an outhouse when it's like below zero outside <laughs> we also use pee bottles um they actually give us official little pee bottles so in the last video i showed you i'm staying in this building here called the caboose um, it's one of the better buildings to stay in, despite the lack of plumbing. But we also have, in the previous video I called these uh, the fish shacks, but they're actually called the fish huts. And um, what else? What else can I show you here? Big tent way back there, if you can see it, that's, uh, that's where our mechanics operate. These little, little buildings back here. Um, we got some like buildings for a backup generator and our electrical distribution building where I find myself working a lot. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about it for the station. Um, it's a small place. There's some science buildings way off in the distance. They keep them really far away from everything else because they're they're uh, one of the things they do is sample clean air and clean snow. So if they're near the rest of us and the generators and all that. Uh, it uh, negatively impacts the science stuff. I'm finally off the ice and back in Kanger. I've got just a few hours here, uh, one night. So I'm taking the evening, sitting around, watching the water flow into the ocean and uh, getting ready to fly to Copenhagen. That'll be my next video. See you there.